So in the last section, we said we're going to have a completely different authentication system for our admin app, and we'll set it up here. And we're still going to be using Auth0 for authentication. It's just, it's going to be a different application on Auth0. So first, let's actually create the application and just name it something related to admin, so you know it's an admin app. I'll call, it, I'll call mine admin app 10. And since we're also going to be using React to build this admin app, we also need to select single page app. Next, we need to create a database connection to this app. So go to connections and then database, and then name it something to identify it with our admin app. So I'll call mine admin app 10 db con. And then very important, make sure to click the slider that says disable signups. Because again, this is a admin app. We don't want random people to be able to sign up for it. And then doing this, we, we will only have a login screen when any user visits the admin app. And then just go ahead and click create. Next, let's go back to our applications and then go on admin app 10, and then let's go to the connections tab. Here, we can disable all the other database connections and just check the slider for the database connection we just set up. And again, this is what ensures that our authentication systems are completely different. We're not storing our regular users with our admins and vice versa. Our admins are going to be stored in a completely different database in Auth0, and they'll have no connection to our regular users for our regular apps. And again, and this is done for security reasons. We want to keep everything compartmentalized and separate. And this makes it easier to control and therefore is more secure. So you might now be asking if a user can't sign up, then how would we add admins to this app? And let's do that now. Let's go under users and then just click create user. And then you can enter in the email password in the connection. And remember the connection is a just admin app 10 db con. And this is essentially how it works. We manually add users and then they get stored in our DB Connect, which is just our database. And in our regular app, when a user signs up, then they are added to the database. So this is just a separate way of adding users to a Auth0 database. And then after you're done, just hit save. And this is really it. This is all we have to do. We can actually now test to see if this works right here in Auth0. So let's go to connections and then database and then admin app 10 db con and then you'll see a try connection tab and let's click on that. So again, let's now enter in the login info that we set up just a short while ago. And actually to really test this, let's actually enter in the log the wrong login info and see if it's letting us sign in. Just do admin 155. And if you see no, we can't log in with this, but let's try the real one, the actual login info. And yes, it's working. Awesome. So let's now hook up our admin app to our actual code. And this is going to be the same exact way that we hooked up our regular app to Auth0. So we first need the client ID and then we can just paste this in into our code. And then back in Auth0, we need to allow the callback URL for React, which is localhost 3000. And then we just need to hit save changes. And that's really it. That's all we had to do to set up our authentication system for our admin app. And this is really due to Auth0 being a very easy to use and having a lot of out of box functionality. So we don't really have to worry too much about hashing and saving the passwords. This is all handled for us by Auth0.